Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, AvriLR32, here bringing you guys a discussion video discussing Raigeki Break and Phoenix Wing Windblast. Which one should you use? Which one should you not use? Cue the intro. So you guys are probably wondering, well, what is the whole point of this video? Well, you see, the whole point of this video is, as I just said, to discuss Phoenix Wing, Windblast, and Raigeki Break. Um, most of the top decks, i.e. Dragon Rulers, um, maybe I've seen some spell books. Um, I believe the one character gear gear deck that topped at YC San Mateo was using, I think, uh, a couple of copies of Phoenix Wing, Windblast. And uh, the Dragon Ruler deck that topped was using, like, three Phoenix Wing, Windblasts, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and some people are using Phoenix Wing Windblast, some people are using Raigeki Break. I've even seen one Dragon Ruler build that I've actually been testing, uh, that I saw on like TCG Player or something, I don't remember. Um, but it was like from a regional in like Indiana, I want to say. And the guy was using two Phoenix Wing Windblast and one Raigeki Break just to kind of have the best of both worlds. I think that's pretty neat, but at the same time, even if you use like say one of each or two of each, there's going to be those times where you're like, man, I wish this was a Red Gate Break, or man, I wish this was a Phoenix Wing. Um, so I definitely want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think uh, would be better to use, um, or even like, what do you guys use uh, in your deck if you're using Red Gate Break or Phoenix Wing Wind Blast? Um, personally, I like Red Gate Break a lot better just because of the fact that you know Phoenix Wing returns it to the top of the deck, and it's like if you're going against a deck like say Spellbooks, which I was playtesting against. Uh, this morning at my locals, uh, and my friend had like, like he just opened up the nuts, game one and game two, but it's like, he had a life on his world, and then he had a uh, high priestess on board with like three or four back row and the tower on board, and it's like, you know, you'd rather have Raikiki Break to get that resource out of there, whereas with Phoenix, I mean, you're already in a losing position in that case, but you see what I mean, like, like, let's say for example, um, even with like Garden Beat, for example, I was going against Garden Beat on DN one time, and the guy goes, play Black Garden, set 5. I mean, Phoenix Wing isn't really going to help you in that case because, you know, you Phoenix Wing and you send a card uh, back to the top of his deck. Even if it's a back card, it doesn't matter because you still have to worry about those other four back cards. Whereas with Regeki Break, you can either pop one of those back cards or you can just pop the Black Garden right off the bat. Uh, so, I think in my opinion, Regeki Break actually gets rid of the issue uh, instead of Phoenix Wing kind of just putting the issue to the side and then you having to deal with it later. Whereas with Geeky Break just immediately says, no, you're gone, get out of here, no one wants to see you anymore. <laughs> um, but it also all depends on the situation, um, which they're both very similar. Like if your opponent goes play Star Eater, as soon as they enter their battle phase, you can just go right Geeky Break, pop the Star Eater. Uh, but whereas in that situation, if they're if you're most likely going against Dragon Rulers, if they're using Star Eater, uh, Phoenix Wing 1 Blast is going to be better against Star Eater because you can just go, okay, Entering your battle phase, activate Phoenix Wing, send it back to the extra deck. You don't have another dragon in your graveyard to use with your other E-Dragons. So in that situation, keeping cards out of the graveyard uh, makes Phoenix Wing really good, especially against Dragon Rulers. Um, but in my opinion, I feel that all in all, even with that being said, I think Raikiki Break is just a better card overall than Phoenix Wing. Uh, they're both very similar cards, except Phoenix Wing puts on the top of the deck, making your opponent potentially lose a draw. But if their back row is just huge, like I gave with the Black Garden example, then it's like, what's the point of even returning something? Might as well just pop the damn thing. <laughs> um, so, let me know in the comments below about what you guys think uh, is better, or even if you guys run this card, which one do you prefer to run? Um, I've talked to a couple of people, and they said, well, why not just use one of each? Uh, instead of like say two Raigeki Break or two Phoenix Wing, again it all goes back to you're gonna hope you're gonna wish that it was either a Phoenix Wing or a Raigeki Break. You're gonna wish it was either one or the other. Um, so I feel that even just running like like one of each or even two of each is just no. You have to stick with one or and then leave the other. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't have like two of each. Like that's a lot of like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like disposing material, so to speak, because, you know, Phoenix Wing Reggae, right, they dispose of cards. Um, but I feel that you kind of have to go with with either the Raigeki Break or Phoenix Wing. Like, you can't balance it out. That's just my opinion, though. Um, I just feel that Raigeki Break is overall a better card than Phoenix Wing. 
uh, in more situations than Phoenix Wing. Um, of course, with the start year to play, Phoenix Wing is a better card. Uh, if your opponent is trying to top deck, Phoenix Wing is a better card. <clears throat> uh, but then that's where the whole grind game comes in, and if your deck isn't really that good with the grind game, then you're definitely want to go for a kick break over Phoenix Wing. Uh, so it also all depends on your deck. It all depends on the situations that you mostly run into. Um, but all, all in all, I still think that Regeki Break is just a better card than Phoenix Wing, in my honest opinion. Uh, so anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, cannot, uh, f the 15th of November, can't wait to get my PlayStation 4. Hopefully that will be on the Vizo network. Uh, more information to come on that. Uh, so stay tuned in to my channel if you want to see some PlayStation 4 gameplay, PlayStation 4 unboxing, anything related to gaming, uh, because I definitely want to start that back up on my channel. Uh, because I am a half gaming, half Yu-Gi-Oh, mostly Yu-Gi-Oh related channel. Um, but to all you that are here for gaming, uh, don't fret because it will be coming eventually. <laughs> so anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, rate, comment, most importantly, subscribe.